Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn. We are restoring the British Empire, and I am indeed recording this from my stream at twitch.tv slash Hill. I am just back from Paradox Con with my lovely bracelet and my Paradox Con t-shirt. Had a ton of interviews and awesome stuff. Make sure you keep an eye on my channel for the cool interviews I'm doing, as well as some retrospectives, and also a travel channel, which I'll put in the description where I'm putting up my vlogs. I have now managed to make my chat up here on stream, so my lovely, lovely viewers on, on Twitch can feel famous ish you know it's, it's relative here so it is 2nd of january 2003 and i've been thinking about my strategies with my lovely charles the thirst my monarchist buddy and what are my strategy is so far obviously um i'm getting enough i'm trying to save up political power so as to be able to get a bit more um like limited conscription and stuff like that our population is it's pretty low let's be fair here it's very very low and the thing is i can't just use normal infantry because my population is so low so what I need to do is I need to, I need to consider how I want to invade. And my, uh, my lovely, lovely path of choice, which is the restoring the British Empire, means I get colonial outposts in Africa and then restore the Raj to puppet India. So puppeting India is a great idea. But the problem is, is that India is way the fuck over here. Um, and they are, of course, dem Democrats, which means they can join um, factions at 80% world tension. However, for some reason, they seem to be joining at 60% world tension or at least creating their own factions. So what I need to do is I need to be able to get troops from Iclase to India. I've had some suggestions for my stream to go through Egypt, but of course that would mean I have to fight Egypt. One possibility actually would be that I could just fight Egypt because by fighting Egypt, um, I they're, they're nationalists. They're not going to join anyone. And if I fight Egypt, I should be able to then go through the canal. I should be able to go through the canal. I do believe the canal actually exists, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So because there's the Suez Canal, I would then very easily be able to go through India. However, to get to Egypt, I, of course, have to defeat it in battle. They actually have, like, a million soldiers, which is insane how many troops they have. So that idea kind of got destroyed. Um, yeah, if it's right, we don't exactly want to puppet India, we have to conquer it, but that's the best we can do, really. Um, because that's what we have. So, to try and kill them would be madness, because they have more troops than us, flat out. They have about 45 troops, whereas we have 32. However, we do have a lovely, lovely focus that allows us to get cleaning up in Africa, and get annexed against Gambia, Sierra Leone, and Benin. That's a weird storm cloud. So what we could do is we could declare war on one of these African powers of Benin, Sierra Leone, or Gambia. Gambia being the most likely, because it is nationalist under Yaya Yemir. Yeah, 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 and because they're nationalists, they won't be able to join the factions. We won't really get anything from them other than a couple of factories uh, and a bit of population. But then we'll be able to use that as a bit of a basis to plan easier naval invasions. Egypt would certainly be better, but I don't think we can really manage it. Uh, what I want to do is I would really like to be able to build. Um, so I actually already have marine brigades. That's actually fucking awesome. I didn't actually realize that. So I'm going to train like a whole bunch of them. What do you need? Support equipment. That's fine. And I will put them in, uh, but not Portland, Portsmouth. And let's just try, let's try and try and train, train 10. If I can get two areas of div invasion. Unfulfilled import requests. Do I need more? Yes, I need more steel. There we are. And a bit more rubber, apparently. Okay. I like this. So, that's the current plan. I'm not sure how well it will go. Wow, I need 21 chromium. What's wrong, France? Why aren't you giving me any? Fr Why aren't you giving me any? What? Where's all your chromium? They are now not exporting any chromium. Okay, thanks, douche. Okay, from South Africa then. Fine. Uh, my mechanized surp, uh, deficit is 253 days, my letter mechanized is 615, and my support equipment is 227 days. Ugh! So it is still going to be another couple of years before we can really do the war, but the thing is we're going to want to try and invade before it hits uh, 2006, because then we're going to get that gigantic uh, jump of world of war, war tension, or world tension, from the invasion of Afghanistan. Um, current scale 76%, it goes down by 0.5%, every month so every year it goes down by uh six percent which is not very much at all so we really need to be managing the rate at which it goes down and our rate of expansion in case we get absolutely rinsed because we really ideally 
don't want to get absolutely rid. Call me crazy. Right, so... I'm going to keep working on replacing the deficit that I have at the moment. It is possible that we might be able to just completely defeat Egypt uh, without really needing to worry. Because if we did that, we would actually have a really nice grip on everything. It would drive war tension up like mad, though. But we'd then be able to pile in through the Suez Canal uh, and take India without really a problem and puppet focus them. It would basically cause a severe issue, but... I think it's a. I think it's the long-term plan to try and consider Egypt. Um, so I could keep going dockyards. Uh, oh no, that's the reason to do because I want that extra research slot, and then we'll start considering that. Okay. That's what? Why have you not taken? What? Oh, no, it is. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, and I apparently still need a million more steel. Okay. Whatever. Uh, so he's been building lots and lots of steel, uh, lots and lots of military factories, uh, and also dockyards, because I really do need to try and be building uh, some ships. At the moment, my ship production is very la sad. I am building a couple carriers. I'm also being destroyed submarines, light cruisers, and missile cruisers. And I actually get one and a half of those a year. At this rate, in a few years' time, I should actually have a really decent amount of ships. Because I will need to create some naval dominance. Some pretty significant naval dominance, to be honest. So we are just going to kind of catch up to our deficit. Um, obviously, we have some slight problems of our population. Uh, we actually are on volunteer only. So I think limited conscription, I think, is a great... problem is, I don't want to go on limited conscription, because although it's an extra 1% popu uh, population, the factory output is a bitch to deal with. So, I mean, the best thing for me to do would be me to get... I mean, I've already got the military... I'm experienced person. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I have quite a lot of things, which is good, but... Apply to join EU. Bah! Bah! I say. Bah! Amphibious Assault might be good, because the invasion speed plus 5%. Uh, but honestly, I think the thing we do need is the population. Not of manpower. Were you sure of manpower? No, it's just light mechanized. Yeah. So at the moment, it's still that ridiculous deficit of light mechanized and mechanized. Uh, at the moment, I am building only two mechanized. What? How much motorized am I recruiting? Ah, I'm training up so much motorized because my, uh, obviously, in the last, as in the last plan, my brigades are going to gain a whole bunch of motorized. Just two. Actually, I can do that right now. So that's pretty good. However, I don't have the experience. I'll still actually have a lot left, so I really do not need this many motorized. Where did all that go? It was straight to mechanized. Oh my goodness. No, I need more than light mechanized. There we are. Much better. Um, so did I try... I'm being asked on my stream. I'm not sure if it's showing up on the chat. But did I try out the new Hearts of Iron 4 DLC, Death and Dishonor? I absolutely did. Impressions uh, impressions of that and a teaser for the new series they'll be doing for Death and Dishonor will be coming out on Wednesday, which uh, from the, when this episode is released, uh, this episode will be released on, on Thursday. So it'll actually already be out. It'll actually already be out because <laughs> I have recorded a bit in advance of myself. Um, so you will actually get to see that. I cannot actually talk about that until the embargo is lifted, however. Uh, we need to get a bit more chromium in this shit as well. I think we're okay. Apparently, I've not actually been doing a stopwatch, so that's great. That's just super. Thanks a lot. Uh, yep, so I really do think I need some population, but I'm going to be... Ch oh, I can't chuck them with motorized, can I? Hmm. So apparently, I, so you can talk about it on video, but not on stream. Yes, I can because uh, the stream is currently live right now, and if I talk about that, I'd be breaking the embargo. But when the video is out, well, it'll already information will already be out there, and you can watch my video on my channel. You just look back through my videos. Uh, da -da 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 -da. time travel. Yes, indeed, lots of time travel. That's what happens in the Alder Hill channel. And apparently, I need a million steel still. Fuck. I think what I'm actually going to need is more civilian factories. Jesus. Yeah, let's get some more civilian factories, I think. That'd be a good idea. 
And we're building some Nuki Nukes as well. Let's check the Nuki Nukes up a little bit. I'd like the Nukes to be finished sooner rather than later. Uh, so I can start building up more. If I can get the Marines to work and they work well, it's possible we could actually just invade Cairo. So we just got the extra research slot, which is great. Uh, and we can get Imperial Industry, which is just like one civilian factory, but it's... It's something, all right. Nuke Peru is just what I'm receiving. This is a possibility, but unfortunately Peru doesn't, hasn't done anything to me yet. Yet. But when they have, they will know my wrath. Don't you worry, my friends. Oh god, we got so many techs to deal with. Uh, b -b 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 what time is it? 2002, so we can get some light cruiser. Let's get the new light cruiser. Thank you. And we'll keep getting the next fly, 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 fly. And I do want to make sure that... Okay, I'm actually building maximum amounts of missile cruisers right now, which is great. I'm getting a lot of light cruisers. And I also want to make sure I'm getting some uh, more destroyers and more subs. And so again, I will need more steel. Ah! There's so many things happening that it's constantly shifting and it's like kind of slightly freezing from my perspective. It's very frustrating, I must say. Okay, so I now need to make sure I'm actually building sufficient amounts of artillery. I actually have a really nice um, surplus of artillery, which is really good. But we need to be, uh, we definitely need to be continuing to build and deal with our deficit. Mechanized wise, we're actually going to be okay. And light mechanized will catch up eventually. Support is going to still take a while as well. In fact, the support is actually the priority here because I need the, the medicine and the medicine support equipment. So let's let's turn some of this off. There we go. Because getting some more support equipment is going to be super useful for us. We don't really need any more infantry equipment because we have a lot already. If I can just invade into Egypt as quickly as possible, I would be super duper happy. Like, Jesus, so happy. Like, I don't even know what to tell you guys. That'd be really nice. Uh, I've been asked, do I have historical focuses on? No, they are not on. So who knows what the fuck's happening in this world. Uh, oil drilling in North Dakota. We got France with its northern industry. Spain with infrastructure too. India is going into public services. Good for you, India. Turkey, you know, let's see, where's the, where's the unique stuff? Education reform. All right. Yeah, there could be a Soviet Union for all we know. I don't know. They're currently, re they're currently still reactionary, but... They're currently going military industrial program, which is a standard route, really. I mean, basically, like I said, guys, the general plan is either to move into Gambia, Gambia, and then into India or Egypt. It, Egypt would be a lot better, mostly because of the resources they provide. I mean, if you look at Egypt's resources, it's like a ton of steel and oil, which is super good. So I kind of really do want to do that. And in fact, can I actually start justifying right now? It takes 240 days. So if I did that, I could get some serious, serious gain. Egypt would not actually be able to join, which would be great. And we do unfortunately have to go to limited conscription to be able to fulfill what we need of our infantry brigades. And we are now going to just uh, edit them and put the motorized in there. Which means that our standard infantry division currently is two units of mechanized, one unit of light mechanized, and two units of motorized, giving a very nice combination of units. Love it. I also definitely want to put some support anti-tank in there, but that's for later. Uh, that is actually going to give me a massive deficit of, of infantry equipment. So I'm definitely going to want to deal with that. Okay. I need a suggestion that if India, apparently according to EFA, if India were to declare war when you declare on Gambia, you could conquer and then annex India. Why, why would that change that? Why would that change the situation? What do you mean? So we are now drastically underwhelmed, under budget with infantry equipment, which is not good. And again, I really do not need this much motorized. I have like so much motorized. There we go. There we are. Annexations are boring. I would prefer to annex them directly because it would be better. It would give me a lot more resources and more population as well. Because the thing is, this is why I'm going so much motorized with my infantry brigade. I mean, it only saves me a few thousand manpower, but basically, um, I don't. I just don't have the manpower to be able to put normal industry, normal infantry divisions out, basically, which is unfortunate. It, it saves me two thousand a time, and that's that's worth it, honestly. Uh, all of these, to be honest, don't really give me much. Uh, I lose national unit, I get into encryption. 
Liberal economics could be somewhat good, but then you get change of popularity and you get the political power gain. The consumer goods factory reduction is super nice, but I really do not want libertarians getting any form of strength. Uh, Britain first sends its own, the British Alliance. Diplomatic Sovereignty. The Justify War Goal Time could be really good. Go with the Commonwealth. Propose the Alliance. No, we don't want any of this shit. But I do want to go to Future of the NHS and see what happens there. Okay. Um, let's give this a go, guys. I think we got this. Sakai, so, everybody, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. How you doing, my friend? We are recording this directly to YouTube. We are playing some Millennium Dawn. We are going to basically conquer the world. This is going to be a slow crawl to our goal. Let's see what happens. I have so, I have five... Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I have five research slots, which is really nice. Uh, I have a bit of a deficit, unfortunately, but we'll catch up to that, no problem. I'm building a lot of infantry brigades because they're basically my main force. And... Hmm, if you look at my infantry brigades... I mean, the thing is, is that it would be nice if I could incorporate like a tank in them. That basically just isn't going to happen, fr frankly. Uh, Marines are almost done, which is great, so we can start the invasions into that. We'll invade directly into Egypt, probably into both Alexandria itself and into the place next to Port Said to get two bits of supply. And then, unfortunately, we'd need to try and move a large number of troops, and that'll be very interesting. Uh, Sakari has commented that I found some scissors in a trimmer. I did indeed cut my hair and trim my beard since last week. This is very true. I miss it greatly. So very greatly. But life is progress. Life is about forward movements. And life is about looking good for Paradox Con so you don't look like a like an angry hippie or something. Escort efficiency, yes please. Alright. I am very happy with the way this is going, guys. I am exceptionally pleased. I think at the moment what's gonna happen here. Oh, bit of a jump there, is um, that we're going to manage to invade all three and win everything. I'm being told that I'm being, that the Soviet Union will rise up. Oh, Soviet Union's going to rise up and fuck you. Didn't fuck me. I hope it doesn't fuck me. I don't want that to happen at all. No, thank you, my friend. I'm looking to see what kind of weird choices people are doing, but at the moment it looks pretty normal. No one's doing anything, like, really screwy. Uh, I actually have a ton of political power gain for some reason. I don't actually know why. Ah, oh, war economy, though. So fucking good. So good. My unity is very low as well. I'm not a fan of, not a fan of this. Uh, Warmonger could be a good idea, but I think one thing I'm going to try and get now is just... Um... Ooh, Atlantic Fleet Designer would be a good idea as well. Extra armor and firepower for capital ships. Yes. There we go, the Royal Navy. And also an army dude. Uh, army experience gain plus 5%. Considering I'm basically constantly remodeling my troops, I think the experience... Oh, no, experience gain doesn't actually increase that. Oh, no, it does, it does, it does. It's a flat bonus. Yeah, plus 5%. Nice. Okay. Nope, it doesn't increase that at all. That's annoying. I just wasted my power. Life is pain. Then you die. But I built some troops. Uh, the marines are done. I'm going to divide them into two. And they will fill out these individual divisions. I'm getting some lag, guys. Alright. And we are going to plan our invasions directly into the Egypt. Into the glorious Egypt. Alright, there we go. Cool. So that seems like it's going to be good for this episode, guys. We plan on naval invasions. We have a rough plan. Uh, it's just about getting the supply necessary for the plan to work. Uh, I would say I'm still at least a year away from any kind of, at least, from any kind of conquest or expansion or whatever. We will see how that goes. I'm going to try and take the Suez Canal from Egypt, be able to then, be able to nick India and make him a puppet, or if I can, directly annex them. That'd be even better. And ideally just uh, start it from there and just start annihilating. Use the vast resources of oil and steel that I have there. Wait, I actually produce oil. Where do I produce oil? Oh god, from Scotland. That's awesome. There it is. Okay. Make sure you check out the other series I have on my channel. Also, be sure to check out the uh, other Millennium Dawn series, which is Germany. Having a lot of fun with that one. I actually forgot that I had, well, had not paused this. So we will make this decision in the very next episode. So make sure you leave me a like and a comment in the video. Let me know what you think. 
And as always, my Patreon is in the description as well if you want to support me further. I was Aldra Hill, and I'll continue to be, and this has been some Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dom. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.